Hello friends, welcome to IBPS guide. Myself Ravi Prakasa. Today is day 46. So we are going to take simple and compound interest. Basic five questions we are going to take. Not five, actually nine questions. So please watch the video entirely because in this video we'll be talking about the concept of simple and compound interest and we'll be taking basic five questions. So if you watch this video entirely, only then when, when we'll discuss moderate and hard level questions, you'll be able to understand them, okay? So, uh, now our mission is SBIPO 2019. So all I would, as always, I would recommend you to go through these two video because in these two video we have talked about the tricks of doing calculation faster. I get in comments how to do calculation faster. So this is the solution to the comment. Okay. So please go through these two video first. So before going to the problems, let me talk about the basics of compound interest and simple interest. So simple interest is what like it is the interest that you get suppose let us amount that let us take an example so simple interest how will I tell you uh, suppose a person invested an amount of rupees 100 in a company called Tesla okay and for time period suppose he has invested for two years so what will be the and rate of interest suppose he gets is 10 so what amount will he get as the simple interest is what in first year he is going to get 10 percent of this that is 10 in second year also he will get 10 percent of this that is 10 so simple interest remains same in all the years if it was 3 it will be 30 so this is your total simple interest is 20 now let us talk about compound interest compound interest is what interest on interest this is the basic of compound interest but how will I tell you see principle is 100 and time period is t. rate of interest is suppose 10 so principle is 100 suppose he first year he gets 10 percent interest that is 10 this is similar to simple interest now the changes will come here in second year he will get 10 percent of this amount and also he will get interest of 10 percent of this 1 by 10 you can write 1 by 10 and this again he will get interest on this interest that is 10 that is 1 so total is how much 21 so you could see that the compound interest is bit more than the simple interest the most important reason behind this is it gets interest on interest so now let us go through the formulas first so that which will help you to solve the problems okay so in simple interest before moving to the formula I will let us talk about some terms okay terms the first term is principal principle is what principle is the amount you could write it here initial initial amount invested let us go to question number two that is amount so amount is what principle plus interest okay this is the second thing let us go to third ratio of interest ratio of interest per annum it is denoted by usually p this is denoted by a this is rate of interest per annum it is denoted by usually r percent let us go to question topic for time period for how many how much time it is invested for it is usually denoted by p or you could always also so cn okay so this is the basics of compound interest and simple interest this is the terms which will you will frequently find in the problems now we'll be talking about the formulas so in compound in simple interest there is not much formula there is just one formula which you have to remember a simple interest is equivalent to principal into rate of interest into time by 100 so this is the simple interest formula this is the most important formula the entire simple interest is based on this formula only and percentage on percentage concept also should be clear to you and we have talked about percentage in day one and day two videos okay now another let us talk about compound interest so formula of compound interest is amount is equal to principal one plus rate of interest by 100 to the power n or t we could denote it by n or t as you wish okay we'll use t for better understanding that it will denote time period but in our problems we are not going to directly make use of this formula this you should remember it because in many cases there is 
it has to be used and if you use the other method which I'm going to tell you in those methods in those problem it will make things complicated please and now I will be showing you the method which we are going to make use of in our problems we are not going to apply this formula directly so let me show you what we are going to use this method is very awesome method because you will not find in other videos this method which I am showing you so what is this method suppose principal amount invested is rupees 100 and rate of interest is suppose 10 and time period is t now somebody asks you what is the compound interest on this now if you in use this formula you have to find out the amount first then you have to subtract it from principal but that is time consuming and we are not going to use that method so what we are going to do is 10 percent could be written as 1 by 10 so first year 10 so 10 plus 1 11 and again for two years so same thing you have to write it here also now you have to do multiplication of this that is 100 this would be 121 now this is the principal this is the amount so what is the interest difference of this two amount minor principal 21 so this is your compound interest so you could see how easily we have been able to solve this problem okay this is method number one now let us see method number two also this will this method will in, in direct questions is asked we will be using this method but if some common difference between simple interest and compound interest those type of problem is asked we will not be using this method but rather this method so this is method number two please go through this very nicely you will if you have not understanding it once please repeat the video and try to understand because this is very important concept so suppose the m principal was 100 10 percent of this is how much 1 by 10 that is 10 and again 1 tenth of this will be 10 and again interest of this 1 tenth that is 1 so what is the this is the principal this entire thing is the compound interest after two years so this value would be 21 we are getting the same answer in both the cases okay now let us see what the first question is saying what it is saying is find the simple interest on rupees 26,000 for two years at 13 percent per annum so it is very easy what you have to do simply apply the formula no need to write all this thing I will show you so that first question I am showing you so that you will understand principal is 26,000 rate of interest is 13 time is 2 by 100 okay now this this now 26 260 into 26 so this could be written as 26 square into 10 so if you remember this that is why I have told you watch day 1 and day 2 video because most of the calculation will be in your mind only 26 670 so let us go to question number 2 what it is saying is we now obtain an amount of this much as simple interest on a certain amount 8% per annum after 6 years what is the amount invested so simple interest they have given you 8, 3, 7, 6, principal is P, rate of interest is 8, time is 6 by 100, okay. Now I will give you a tip here. So these tips will help you to solve, be faster than the rest of the students, okay. These tips will help you solve more problems in the exam. So if you do with normal method, you will be stay behind, you will not be attempt more questions. So what is the tip is, now if you know, this is a number suppose, now how will you know if this number is divided by 2? You have to see the last digit if it is divided by 2 okay now for 2 you have to see the last digit now if you know if it is divided by 4 or not you have to see the last two digit if it is divided by 4 or not for 8 you have to see the last three digit if it is divided by 8 or not okay and for 16 you have to see the last four digit if it is divided by 8 or 16 or not okay similarly it will go on so let us see if it is divided by 8 376 5 for 32, 550, yes it is divided, so entire number will be divided, 1, so what is the remainder, 4, this would be how much, 56, 7 times, okay, so 1047, now if it is divided by 3 or not, 7 plus 4 is 11, 12, sum is divided by 3, so it will divide by 3, 2 times, this will be 3 times, 4, 9, okay, so your principal is, now again let us, this will be 25 349 into 25 3 times 4 times 27 29 now how what will be the principal value this is 50 that is 50 9 5 the 45 4 carry 4 2 carry 
fifteen seventeen one seven four five zero is your value. Where is it? It is in D. Let us go to question number three. This compound interest on a certain sum of money for two years at six percent per annum is this much. Then the principal is what? Now they are talking about principal. Now we are not going to use the traditional method which you have learned in childhood, but rather we'll use a faster method. So six percent can be written as six by hundred. So this will be three by fifty. Now fifty fifty three. You have to add this. That is fifty fifty three. Now this is twenty five hundred. Again, this square I have taught you how to do it faster. Fifty three square. How will you find out? Is fifty square that is twenty five hundred plus three times sum of fifty plus fifty three that is hundred and three. Now this would be nine zero three. So the value is two eight zero nine. Okay. So this is the value that is two eight zero nine. So what they are asking you the compound interest. Per annum is this much. Now they have given you the compound interest value. Interest is how much? Difference of this it is nine zero three. Three zero nine is equivalent to three seven zero three seven zero eight. So what is the value of one unit? Three seven zero eight divided by one zero three one three zero nine. Now it is divided by three one zero three. This is also divided by three two times three six times. Okay. One zero three will go how much time? And one times that is one zero three. Now this is two. So value of one unit is two. So now what is the principal they are asking? Principal you have to this is the principal you have to multiply with twelve. Ten times is two fifty, three hundred. So where is it? It is in C. Three C is your value. Let us go to question number four. What it is saying is a certain sum of money invested for a period of five years. At six percent per annum, simple interest earned is five four zero zero. Find the principal. Now, simple interest they have given you the value. Now, it is very simple formula. Directly apply the formula. Principal rate of interest is six. Time is five by hundred. Now, five forty zero zero. Principal thirty. This is this much. Now, this and this will go. It will be divided by three. That is one times eight zero zero. Principal is how much? One eight zero zero. Zero. Where it is, it is in B. Let us go to question number five. If the simple interest on a sum of money for two years at ten percent per annum is hundred, what is the compound interest at the same rate of interest for the same time? So they have given you the simple interest. Now we we'll use the formula to find the principal. Simple interest is principal into rate of interest into time by hundred. So this will go here. This will be five times. So principal will be five hundred. Now we are going to use the compound interest. What is the compound interest they are asking you? So 10% is rate of interest is same. So 10% is 1 by 10. This will be 10, 11, 10, 11. Okay. This is 100. This is 121. Now this is the principal. 100 is equivalent to 500. So 1 is equivalent to 5. So what is the? This is 21. Difference is 21. One unit is 5. That is. Hundred and five is your value. Where it is, it is in D. A sum of rupees two five was lent partly at seven percent and ten percent in simple interest. The total interest minus x. A sum of interest. Let us go to question number six. What it is saying is, a sum of rupees two thousand two hundred fifty was lent partly at seven percent and ten percent per annum simple interest. The total interest received after three years was five forty. The ratio of the money lent at seven percent to that lent at ten percent is what? So at seven percent, let us assume x. So what is the remaining? Two two five zero minus x. So total is how much? Five forty. X into rate of interest into time by hundred plus two two five zero minus x into rate of interest. That is ten into three by hundred. So both side. Let us get rid of this three. This will be one times eighty. Okay, so one eight zero 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 seven x plus two two five zero zero minus ten x. Okay, now what will be the solution? How much is the difference? Four thousand five hundred, and it is here. This is equivalent to three x. So x is how much? Fifteen hundred. Okay, now what is they are asking? The ratio of the money lent at seven percent that is fifteen hundred. To the money lent at ten percent, that is seven fifty. 
टू एस टू वन इज योर रेशियो सो एंसर नंबर ऑप्शन बी लेट इज गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन शिवानी इन्वेस्टेड रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड इन टू डिफरेंट पार्ट इन द इंटरेस्ट रिसिप्ट एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फॉर टू ईयर्स इज इक्वल टू द इंटरेस्ट रिसिप्ट एट द रेट ऑफ एट परसेंट फॉर टू ईयर्स वट इज द डिफरेंस विद इन द सम इन्वेस्टेड एट टेन परसेंट एंड एट परसेंट सो लेट अस टेक दिस अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड इज एक्स एंड द रिमेनिंग एट एट परसेंट इट इज एटीन थाउजेंड माइनस एक्स नाउ दे आर आस्किंग यू दैट द सिंपल रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज इक्वल ओके सो इन फर्स्ट केस वट विल बी रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट टेन इन टू टाइम इज हाउ मच for two years at the rate of for two years time is same so no need to write by 100 is also no need to write 18000 minus x into rate of interest in second case is 8 so this will be five times this will be four times this is 5x this is 72000 minus 4x okay so this will be how much 9x 72000 9x is how much 8 Zero zero zero. Okay, x is eight thousand. Now what they are asking? What is the difference? Eight thousand is first case, and difference in second case is eighteen thousand minus. So what is the difference? Ten thousand minus eight thousand. That is two thousand. That is B. Let us go to question number eight. So this question is a homework for you. Please try to solve this problem on your own and give the solution in the comment. Because if you give the solution. we know that you are serious about the exam and we always read the comment and see how many of you are giving the right answer let us go to question number 9 what it is saying is raji invested some amount in simple interest this you can mark it to be star mark this is a important problem so please try to solve this problem on your own first and if you are not able to then only see the solution so raji invested some amount in simple interest at rate of 20% per annum for 2 years this is the most important line in this entire problem and that amount is invested in compound interest at the same rate of interest for same period you got total amount of 4032 so 4032 is the total amount he got so after simple interest how much it is getting 20% in first case and again 20 if you take 100 he'll get 20 in first year in second year he'll get 20 so total 140 so 100 so he will get 14 14 times of the invested amount This one point four. No need to write one point one. That is hundred into x. Now this amount is invested in principal. That is compound interest. So amount is equal to principal into one plus rate of interest. That is one by five. So time. Let us take t. Time is how much? They have two years. That is two. Now we have to find the value of x. So very simple. Let let us get rid of this. This will be how much? Seven times. Will it go or not? Let us. Make it simple and cancel with two two zero one six. Now let us see if it is divided by seven two times fourteen six remainder six eight times will give you fifty six five is the remainder again eight two eighty eight so two eighty eight this is equal to x into five plus one six by five that is thirty six by twenty five. Now let us solve this again. Will it go by nine or not? How will you know if this sum is divided by nine? This is divided by nine. This is also divided by nine. Three times thirty-two. This will be how much? Eight. So x is twenty-five into eight. So twenty-five zero four k di sixteen twenty. So your value would be ten. We have missed it here. So ten. So your value would be two thousand. Where it is? It is in d. Okay. So if you watch the entire video please give it a like and comment how you feel about the videos and if you like it say you like it and also give your feedback and do share with your friends on all the social media website like Facebook and WhatsApp group also and do subscribe to the IBPS guide channel so bye bye see you in the next session